My name is Terry Willis and I write children's books. Then I visit schools to share my books with the children. But at the moment we're all stuck. Here we are at home, nowhere we can go, not even to school. So I've uploaded some of my stories and poems to YouTube. If you enjoy them, would you please let me know? At the start of some of the stories, I've included a short quiz. I think quizzes are fun. And at the end of the story, the answers will appear so you can see how well you have done. The story today is the tale of Rusty the squirrel and Rusty is a red squirrel. Here's the quiz. Question one. Why is Rusty a good name for him? Question two. What colour are the squirrels we see in gardens, woods and local parks in much of the UK? Question three. I saw some red squirrels many years ago when I went on a school journey to a place called Swanage and we visited Brown Sea Island. That's where I saw them. Can you find Swanage and Brown Sea Island on a map? Question four. What are the nuts that squirrels eat that they collect from oak trees? And question five. Red squirrels can be found in another part of the UK, known as the Highlands. But the Highlands of which country? The tale of Rusty the Squirrel. Rusty the Red Squirrel lived in some woods down by the sea. He lived with the other red squirrels that made up his family. The woods were close to the water and the squirrels played on the boats. Though they jumped on and off, they were careful as they know that squirrels can't float. In the autumn, they hunted for nuts to store for when winter came. Once the nuts were all gathered up, they could play their favourite games. Rusty and the other squirrels chased each other, having such fun. Around the copses and under the bushes, up and down trees they would run. They scampered on and off the boats and up the trees again, till night came. Then they would settle down in their cosy squirrel den. Some mornings they'd hide while one squirrel searched, playing, you can't find me. But one day Rusty was careless and he hid on a boat which sailed out to sea. Oh no, thought Rusty, I'm stuck. I did not want to go to sea. I'm a squirrel, I'm not a duck. I wish I was up in a tree. Rusty stayed hidden till the boat came back to land. Then he leapt from the boat and away. He wanted so much to get back to his friends, but Rusty did not know the way. Rusty was lost, no doubt about it. He had no idea where to go. Rusty was sad, Rusty was lonely, where his home was, he just did not know. Rusty was tired and Rusty felt scared. I can't find my way, I've tried. He found a small hole halfway up a tree where he tucked himself up and he cried. When he awoke the next morning, around him were squirrels at play but they were not red squirrels like Rusty. These squirrels were all colored gray. One squirrel looked at Rusty and said, 
why don't you come out and play? Don't look so sad. We'll be your friends. It's a lovely sunshiny day. But another grey squirrel unkindly said, this squirrel isn't the same. I don't think we should let him come and join in our game. We are squirrels, but we're grey. He isn't grey, he's red. We should just send him away. He can go somewhere else instead. Some of the other squirrels, they did not agree. Look, said one, you can see he's a squirrel. He looks exactly like me. That made Rusty happy. I am a squirrel, he said. I'm just a different colour. You are grey and I am red. Birds are different colours. Other animals are too. But as you can see when you look at me, I'm a squirrel just like you. With most of the squirrels making him welcome, Rusty decided to stay. And even the squirrel who'd been rather unfriendly shared his nuts with Rusty the very next day. With his grey squirrel cousins, Rusty found a happy home. Red or grey, it didn't matter. Rusty was no longer alone. The end.